My Sky News colleague James Morrow joins me now from Los Angeles. James, I was talking to an election analyst today. He said that Trump owns the three most iconic images of the campaign, and this is exactly where you want to be the weekend before the poll. The first of those is that image of him shot in that rally at Pennsylvania. Uh, the next one is him manning the drive through at McDonald's. And now today he regards uh, Trump in the driver's seat of a garbage truck as that final image of the campaign that will seal a deal for him next week. Uh, what do you think? Well, I think your analyst was absolutely right. You know, all three of those moments have a few things in common. Certainly, all of them have in common this idea of defiance. And Donald Trump is all about defiance, whether it's the assassin's bullet or whether it's defiance of the Democrats and a lot of people in the media who want to do away with him by other means. Um, but then the other thing, I think, that really stands out with Two of those images, the last two, certainly, McDonald's and the garbage truck, are this idea that, A, you know, he's a happy warrior. He is actually joyful, where Kamala talks about joy. Mm -hmm. And, B, he has no problem being a normal person. These are sort of icons of normality. And as I always say in politics, Peter, whoever is being the more normal and relatable candidate tends to have the advantage. And I think that's exactly the spot that Donald Trump is now, just with a few days left of the polls. We'll get on to Harris in a moment, but what did you make of that shot of the president with his mouth on the leg of a toddler at the White House? <laughs> well, I mean, that's just Joe Biden being Joe Biden. But, you know, how many times have we seen him doing things where he just does strange things like, you know, chomping a toddler at, uh, at the Halloween party or sniffing hair or doing all sorts of things? This is, unfortunately, you know, you talked about those images that Donald Trump is being remembered for. McDonald's, fight, fight, fight in Butler, Pennsylvania, the garbage truck. And mm. Joe Biden, his long career of public service, goes out with a toddler's leg in his mouth. I mean, I know who I'd rather be. Look, I went to school in California and it's got a lot woker since I was there. So I'm going to apply a discount factor for the fact that you are there tonight. But what's the mood on the ground in the West Coast? Well, that's really interesting that you mentioned that because I've been talking to people all day here in Los Angeles, different parts of town, Hollywood, uh, Santa Monica, places like that. Places that not only have, of course, a lot of Californians, but also people who are here visiting from other parts of the country and indeed the world. And what I found this time versus when I was out here in 2020 covering the campaign is people are a little bit more comfortable if they're talking about supporting Trump about saying that. Just have a little look at what some of the folks had to say. What do you like about Harris? Uh, that she's not Trump. Not Trump? <laughs> it's anybody but Trump. Anybody but Trump. Yeah. So I'll say this. It's always a lesser of two evils. <laughs> but at least one person's telling you what they're going to do. You may not like it. The other one can't figure out how to get out of a sentence. And how should we take that one? Who do you know who can't form a complete sentence and answer a question? It's pretty easy to see. At least the other one tells you what he's thinking, how he's thinking, and what he's going to do. Who do you like in the, uh, in the election on Tuesday? Personally, Kamala and Kamala. We, we hope for also a free Palestine. Ah, election, yeah. Trump. Trump. I'm with Trump, Trump. Yes, Trump. Viva Trump. Viva Trump. Viva Trump. Excellent. You're going to vote for Trump? Pro Trump? Trump, yeah. Trump. Who do you like on Tuesday? On Tuesday? Yeah. I'm more of a Kamala guy myself. All right, we're into the final stretch here, absolutely. The last weekend of campaigning, James, what are we expecting to see? Well, yeah, we're going to see, you know, even though I guess you could say Kamala Harris had her closing argument, she's going to keep out there on the campaign trail. We also know that uh, Donald Trump is going to be speaking in North Carolina, which is that swing state that he really, really wants to pick up. But if you see a win there for North Carolina for Trump, it could be a very different night than the Harris and um, Waltz team want. The big question, though, Peter, is where's Joe Biden going to be in all of this? Will he come out of hiding? Will he come out and say anything else? Will he try and do his routine of I'm helping this campaign that he seems to have done so much to undermine and throw a grenade in the path of? That's going to be the thing I think we should watch going into Tuesday. Where is Joe Biden? It'll be fascinating. I'll be glued to it all weekend, in and around a little bit of racing in Victoria. James, great to have your company. We'll watch you next week.